Try not. You told me Norma Creed has something to tell me. Well, who told you that? See, she has to say. The people at the, the, the sheriff's station. Yeah. It's a pressure building. The kind that comes before a storm when it builds and builds but just won't break. Or a really yeah, big the ravens, they feel it too. Or, um, Last time things. I saw them like this, when the trees were more birds than branches, there were murders. Yeah, that was back in 2002, tail end of a long and wicked hot summer. By August, the whole town smelled rotten, and we hadn't seen a drop of rain since June. Oh, when whoa, the storm finally broke trouble. and the ravens flew, the She's killing stopped. She can do what she likes. Never believed what the paper wrote about that vagrant, neither did Helen, despite those boys in city council leaning on her. Well, she took a beating. Could have hurt her career, but she was right. It wasn't human hands cut those girls open. An unkindness of ravens, isn't that what they call it? My idea of reading is the TV guide, not anything that could charitably be called literature. But even I know signs and portents when I see them. I wonder what could have done that. Maybe we can find out. Yeah. Back to the sheriff station, which I can teleport to. Yes, you can. That's a thing I can do. It is. Just like jumping, you know, higher than your head. So you figured out? Have you figured out how to do the blue energy ball yet? Goodbye, friend. No, that was mostly just to get like control of my abilities. I don't really like using. Don't me have to file I don't really. I, I really report, okay? see myself using like real magic, you know. It's kind of weird, like how, uh, you know, before he got his wand, Harry Potter was just doing all kinds of magic that he could never do when he got his wand. Means. Ah, oh, it's a system of governmental control, you know? Yeah. J.K. Rowling knew something, but we, did, we don't know what. Let's see here. Atherton and Nathan? Ah, uh, 2006. Rape a tourist. Ugh. Multiple reports of harassment. Eyewitness reports that are a subject for the rape of name of minor. Oh God. Sent deputy gardener home for the evening. I'm concerned for safety of prisoner. If I believe him about that. Andy has depths I did not know about, but you can't say I blamed him. Nope. I would have blamed him. Oh no. Dexter, ill. Multiple counts of alcohol related misdemeanors. Drunk driving and public exposure and creating a public nuisance. Multiple warnings filed. All officers have been very lenient, but this behavior can no longer be tolerated. She said in 98. <laughs> <laughs> I like Bill. When she said that all she uses the cell for is a dry out Bill Dexter. I like Bill Dexter. He sounds like a fun guy. I hope I hope he's alive. Gardner, David. I was Wait. Animal cruelty? Nate Gardner. That oh shit. An eyewitness report a suspect throwing a mewling sack uh between Jack and Wendy's bed and breakfast and journeys in. Witness not willing to testify. What the fuck? Che Garcia Hansen. That can't be a real name. 2011. Multiple noise complaints from local residents. Subject was verbally aggressive but physically passive. Was not impressed by the small mindedness of local residents but agreed to bow to the man. Sounds like a pleasant chat. I hate this person already. Let's go find yeah, him and take a, take a dump on his bed. I don't know. No. Well, she knows everything. You sure you want to be talking to me about all this stuff? I mean, I'm probably flattered that you think I'm in on it all. Truth is, I'm always the last to be invited to the midnight meetings at Town Hall. Reckon I must be all thumbs when it comes to secret handshakes. Midnight meetings at Town Hall, huh? Oh god, why do we even try to obscure anything? I know this island's cut from a different cloth. 
a damn weird cloth. Sure as there's a difference between being homely and being plain stupid. Take it from me. No one around these parts is a dope. Not all the time. A damn weird cloth. Everybody knows, or knows someone who knows. Salem's got nothing on us. We had an episode with torches and pitchforks only 25 years ago now. What? But my job, I gotta do it wearing this police jacket. Not a robe and a wizard hat. Does she know what that means? I, I hope not. But I, I mean, I do kind of hope she does. Why? Yeah, I... Got a thing for the older ladies? Let's move on. The answer to your question is yes. Andy and Helen, Deputy Gardner, Sheriff Bannerman, they're the reason I stayed behind when I could have just gone. I know the secret roads. I know how to ride out of here through places the fog can't touch. Gartha? But folks like them and and the rest of the survivors here in Kingsmith deserve better. I'm not putting you on the spot here, friend. I know you've got other places to be, other wars to fight. Which is why it's doubly important I stay behind. There's an honesty and an innocence to these people. And they genuinely know and care about one another. Of course, I can't claim total selflessness. My heart's gone soft for Andy. And even if he'll never feel the same way for me, as long as this heart's beating, I won't let any harm come to him. Just talk to him, Moose. Just talk to him. Tell him how you feel. And that was sweet, but not particularly later. useful. No, but I mean, it's good to talk to Moose. You know? So, he's such a, well, he's such a comforting figure in these times. He is. I like them. I hope they work out. Yeah. I should have. <laughs> You'll want to get down in the office shipping the pool at some point. And so, well, I think the way I figure it. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate. I, this is just like PT again. <laughs> I can't for, keep up running. For a, for a second, for a second, I thought I, I didn't remember you in the army. First, I thought you meant like the video, the video game PT. Yeah, eh. eh. R.I.P. Silent Hills, and also Konami. The way, the way I figure it, she mentioned the, she mentioned Town Hall. It's as good a place as any to start looking. So that's where they had the new night meeting. Looks like it. I mean, can't do much else in this space. Bingo! Bingo, bingo, bingo. It makes your voices happy. Wait. Why does that song suddenly start sounding sinister? Uh, I mean, I think everything's gonna start sinister, sounding sinister after a while. What voices are they talking about? Transient farmhand Larry Checkin has been formally charged with the murders of Kingsman's girls redacted. Townies who had been holding an all-night vigil in Elm gave an emotional response to the announcement this morning. It marks the end of a summer of horror that has gripped around the town for three months. A state police manhunt making mainland news. Sheriff Bannerman would not make further comment on the case ahead of the state press briefing. She has, however, asked the town to remain calm while justice works its course. We at the Chronicle know many of our readers have questioned the efficacy of the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office. But there will be times. Oh, that's some yellow journalism. We at, the, we at the newspaper cannot publicly say that everyone at the Sheriff's Office has their head up their ass, but. Other people have totally been saying that to us. You buy that, don't you? The town council, those who serve the Eye and Pyramid, believe the attack was on them. Precious occult archives and artifacts lost. But the citizens must be pacified. They howl like a mass of hungry dogs. These men of illuminated influence feed the mob, toss them to harbor workers who are not local. 
have no family and no one to mourn. The noose hugs their necks. The mob is sated. Tell us, sweetling, which is more disturbing, that the guilty still walk, or that the innocent are so very desperate to kill? The latter. Yeah. I'll deal with this one later. But for now, I think I need to go back to the sheriff's office. Gonna find out about this. Yeah. That guy whose name I've already forgotten. I mean, not like I'm ever gonna see him again. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's dead. Yeah, Larry, check it. You just to sign out before you take things from there. <laughs> I don't think anyone really cares. <laughs> oh, see, no wonder I couldn't find him before. He wasn't actually... I mean, he was going with the dismissed case. Huh. Or he's in the closed file. Those are only the open files. Well, that makes sense. Although the suspect of... at 1 a.m. went over his full written confession for Redacted. Multiple inconsistencies with his story and events including Redacted. You asked my ghost for the truth, Sheriff. Shekin took his own life in the cell between the hours of 4 and 5 a.m. Discovered at 7 a.m. Seen already redacted. All outstanding work on investigation to be closed. Oh, I hope that wasn't Andy. I don't know if Andy would make it look like suicide. I mean, you know... I'm not saying he's dumb, but he's just, you know, um, single-minded. Yeah, he's real single-minded. I don't know why he would, anyone would make it look like suicide. Moving on! We well, I mean, you make it look like a suicide to make it look like not a murder. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, friend. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I was thinking. You seem kind of distracted. Are you okay? Hey, chum. Just, yeah, n n it's hitting close to home. Oh, I'll say. no, I'm, I'm sorry. And, um, anyway. Uh, speaking of this kind of thing, I. I kind of learned something, and uh, now, now I don't want you to freak out. Um, noted. But I think I can do something that's a little weird. Debbie? Let me, um... Okay, Debbie, you're kind of starting... Hey, remember... Well, because I, okay, so I was thinking. Yeah. The guy, when I was dead. Uh huh. I saw a ghost in the cell. Where are you go? Yeah. Uh, I think I can go have a chat with him. Wait. And I think the bees. Uh. Well, okay, it's easier to show you. Wait, Debbie, what are you, what are you talking about? What are you gonna? Oh my God, Debbie! Debbie, what the? What the fuck? Okay, so here I am again. You just, you just died. I prefer to think of it as released my astral form. What did you just like pull your plug or something? You just yeah, something like that. That looked really weird. Just dying. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like my heart just stopped beating. What did it feel like? Like it felt like nothing, but like you know, capital nothing. Oh wow. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, here we go. And does he want me to kiss his ass? Does he think Bannerman is hot, or...? Well, I'm... I mean, you know my feelings on that. Right. 
but he's looking at something here, actually. Or, um, yeah, he, I remember he wasn't very talkative when I visited him before. He's looking at something here. The White Raven's Whisper. Golden Girl Sorrowful. Secrets are never told. What the fuck does that mean? Be Arthur's tell all? Maybe Kira killed someone in here. Elle, do you know gods of death love apples? Uh, there's a Templar cross here. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Templars are everywhere. And there's also a woman with a large penis. Uh, where I don't see... Oh! Oh, wow. That is... That is impressive in many ways. Well... That was useless. I'm gonna go back to my body, I guess. Can you just, like, and, uh, walk back into it, or...? There's a... There's a white raven. That... That shouldn't be there. I'm gonna follow it. Maybe it means winter is coming. I think winter's already here. That's why I'm... I mean, not that it's Halloween. That's true. I'm like, uh, okay. Uh, what? Okay. Five for silver. You heard that, right? Yeah, did, did you? Five for the silver. The talking bird? Yes. Uh... Four for a boy. Two for joy. Six for gold. One for sorrow. Seven for a secret, never to be told. Three for a girl. I mean, I like that song by Counting Crows, too, that... Why does everything for a girl. in the universe have creepy voices? Why can't we ever meet a, a, a demon who talks like Morgan Freeman? So, let's see here. Golden Girls, Horrible Secrets. Oh, I see, it's a code. Four for a boy. Two for joy. Six for gold. One for sorrow. Seven for a secret. Never to be. Three for a girl. Why did ghosts have to be so obtuse? I mean, did the other ghosts know this would be here? Seven for a secret. Never to be told. Mm -hmm. Goddamn ghosts. One for sorrow. Seven for a secret. Never to be told. I'm looking for Jack the Lad. <laughs> you found what? it. Oh, that's... That was a creepy voice. Everything has a creepy voice. There's some, someone standing over there. There's birds look at that tree. That's the Halloween tree. Whoa, okay, that's... Oh, Local thing bounty killed. detected. Initiating. And I'm alive. It did it just... How did it bring you back to life? I don't know, but that's not good. That thing must be pretty powerful. I think you run. I don't know. Hey, come back here. Okay, good. It's running. Don't don't follow it. That thing could rip you apart. It's gone. Holy crap. Yeah, that thing must be pretty powerful, but still. I'm not gonna let it get away with that. That must have been what killed the girls. I mean, it must have been. I mean... <sighs> Just ripped them apart. He really had certain worried there. I remind him that you're expendable, but I admit it's very good to have you back. <laughs> Redeploying some at this stage would be such a bitch. Oh, fuck. There's a number of murders in Kingsmouth. That point to Jack's unique physiognomy. 
Don't bother you with the trash de details. Boy please famine. Boy works on Megas' farm. Megas' daughter dies. Megas tears into Boy and Pumpkin Patch. The moral of the story, Kingsman is not a good place to die. So try not to. Well, keep that in mind. I mean, at least she knows of your existence. That's more than most of us drones get. Eh, drones. Ah, bees, ha uh ha. -huh. But, um, why didn't you tell her? Hmm? Why didn't you tell her? Is there anything that I was still alive, really? I kind of got you know, caught up in the moment. I mean, besides, they don't really, they don't really like, you know, they don't really like us to bother them every time someone dies and comes back to life. They, they, they really just wait and hear after it all gets resolved, you know? Right. Okay. Very sort of hands off here. Well, I think I think that wraps it up for the uh, police station. I just want to say goodbye, Miss. All right. Well, let's hope these guys can survive without you. I've spent the better part of two decades on the road, my friend. I've learned that there's not a loose bolt these hands can't tighten, not a broken transmission they cannot fix. You give me a handful of nails and some wood, and I'll build you a house. When the undead came marching up Main Street just a day or two after the fog pulled back, we did our best to prepare for the worst. And in me. With the help of the rest of the good folk here, built ourselves something better than a house. We built a castle. Nice save there. Yeah. It won't hold forever. But as long as we're breathing, as long as we believe in salvation, with or without help from the likes of you, we will walk tall and stand firm. I'll choose to take that as hopeful instead of a slight dig at me. Goodbye, friend.